everyone, welcome back to The Tune Project. Today I'm gonna teach you a jazz standard called Sweet Georgia Brown. Now, technically this tune is in the key of F major. However, we do have quite a few accidentals going on in this tune, which makes it sound as though we're going in and out of keys. Now, if you're not already subscribed to The Tune Project, I ask you to consider hitting that red subscribe button below and the bell so that you can be notified each time I upload a new video. All right, so we're starting on the D string on an open D. So we have mostly quarter notes going on. We do have an F sharp in that little first phrase and we're doing quite a bit of walking around between the D string and the A string. Next, we bring our second finger back to an F natural and we have no sharps or flats in this next phrase. So we have an identical rhythm pattern going on in this one, identical to the first phrase, and it starts off exactly the same way, except like I said, we have an F natural instead of an F sharp. Next, we're bringing it all the way down to the G string with our third finger, C. <laughs> So again, with the same rhythm pattern, and we have our C naturals going on there, so low second finger on the A string. And for this next little phrase, we come back down to that same third finger C on the G string. Now for this next part, it's gonna sound familiar to you because it is the same two phrases that we had in the very beginning. So I'm gonna play through those, and if you remember them, you can play along with me. is new so be sure to listen for this new rhythm pattern we have here so you might have noticed we had some rests in there some eighth rests and we did have some quarter notes there those four quarter notes in a row so make sure that you add that into the little rhythm pattern there. And now we're coming up on the last phrase of this tune, starting again on our low C. And then ending on that tonic, our F natural. And that is the whole tune. Now, the fun thing about this tune is once you play all of that, once you get a good handle on the melody, you can go ahead and then improvise. So once you're able to play all the way through this tune and feel confident in it, then you can branch out and maybe try a little bit of improvising within each of these keys that are present in this tune. So if you feel comfortable with that, then I would say definitely go for it because it definitely adds another layer to this tune and makes it more fun and kind of adds again to that jazz element that this tune already has. Well, thanks so much for sticking around and learning Sweet Georgia Brown with me today. I hope you enjoyed that one and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Happy practicing.